Dance is an outpouring of human exuberance. In India, all our gods, all the gods who are worshipped are all dancing gods. Dance is a test of your balance in many ways. I'm not just saying physical balance, your inner balance also is determined. I am just very uh, grateful to have the opportunity to ask you a question today. Uh, my question for you, Sadhguru, is do you in the Indian culture have a, a dance that is also considered a medicine dance or, um, you know, do you guys consider dance to be uh, something that can have healing properties to it? So thank you so much and uh, have a safe journey. Namaskaram, Michelle. Wonderful to be talking to you, the dancer. <laughs> I must tell you this, uh, my daughter who is thirty now, just turned thirty, she is a classical, Indian classical dancer. It's a very intricate and sophisticated form of dance, which largely at one time evolved in the temples of India as a form of worship, as a form of offering, but today it is also being done on stage. So, are Indian dancers in some way connected to our spirituality? Are Indian dancers in some way healing? or signify something more than just entertainment, one hundred percent, because all the dancers, the classical dancers in India, do not tre treat dance as an entertainment process, it is treated as a sacred duty and a sacred process. Well, it's very different from uh, what you have here, but uh, very, very sophisticated uh, way of uh, movements and offerings and very complex stories being depicted through the dance. So I would like to send you some videos so that you can acquaint yourself with that or you can look it up anyway on the net. Having said that, <laughs> I want you to uh, know this that in India, all our gods, all the gods who are worshipped are all dancing gods. If uh, they cannot dance, we do not consider them gods. <laughs> How's that for you? <laughs> because Dance is about the exuberance of your physical form. If your life energies, if your body is in an exuberant way, it will naturally dance. What kind of dance may be cultural, but essentially dance is an outpouring of human exuberance. Where there is no outpouring of life, uh, how can you be... how can such a entity uh, qualify as God? So all our gods are dancing gods, so it is very much deeply embedded in our culture. But when we say India, it is not like one thing. India is a vast country, it had over nineteen thousand languages at one time. Every few kilometers you drive, you will see people look different, eat different, dress different, their culture is different, their music and dance is different. So we... We are also struggling as to how to preserve all these things because it's too complex and too elaborate. But uh, today, quite a few forms are very well, uh, you know, very much in practice, lot of youth taking to it. And it is on stage, it is being attended by people, people even pay to watch these dances. So, uh, there is a whole revival of that in this generation. Mm, it's very important to understand that if uh, your body refuses to dance, it's not about whether you can dance or not, it simply is a question of uh, do you have life energy spilling out of you or no? Are you an overflow of life energies or are you a depleted life? So bringing uh, this dimension that we call as dance into 
in a way, at a very early age, can be very wonderful to bring balance to children as they grow up, because whatever talents, whatever competences we have, competencies we have, and uh, whatever genius that is there in every human being can unfold only if there is balance, and dance is a test of your balance in many ways. I'm not just saying physical balance, your inner balance also is determined when you're not balanced, you cannot dance. So, uh, this is very important for every culture, it must be brought back, and it's great that you're bringing back uh, the Native American dancers, and I just saw a small video of yours. I wish we had met, sometime you must come here to our center in Tennessee and perform. It'll be wonderful to see you dancing. Uh, <laughs> I saw with all those heavy bells, it must be quite a effort to do that, but you're doing great. Congratulations and uh, my blessings to you. Let this culture live.